Hello there and welcome back to Random Ass Sundays, where we play a random game on a Sunday. Now, over the past few weeks, uh, well, past month actually, we've been playing a lot of horror games and a lot of action oriented games. And I felt every now and again it's nice just to throw in something a little bit more chill, a little bit relaxing. So this week we are going to be playing Unpacking. Now, this game was released on the 1st of November and it was developed by an Australian studio called Witchbeam and it is currently available for PC, Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S and I believe it's currently in the Xbox Game Pass as well. So if you do enjoy this one, do pick it up. It's very, very good. I do enjoy it. So, without further ado, get comfy and come chill with me as we dive into unpacking. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy. So, starting off, uh, Rinsler, thank you. Start off with our good old photo album. in the back all the way to 1997 just gonna adjust, adjust me mic there just a touch there we go that's a little bit better so the premise of the game this is our first level we are moving into uh, our house our new house obviously we're a kid it seems to be a child's bedroom we have our boxes in here, we've just moved in. It's up to us to unpack all of our boxes and put all of our possessions in the correct place in the room. Now, the game itself will... Oh, sorry. Oh, cool, sorry. It's again to happen. The game obviously has a... Where the puzzle aspect comes in, sorry, is where the game has an idea of where everything should be. It's a little bit lenient, you just got to get close to the general position. But you've got to get everything in the right spot. And you can't, won't beat the level until you get everything correct. So let's just jump in. Unpack this first box. We'll go with this top one. Right, it's first up. Oh, okay. So we've got a football. Shove that down on the floor. What's next? Ooh, a backpack. Alright, put that down there. I don't know where that's supposed to go. Ooh, trophy. Put you up, up there. Right click, you can rotate. Uh, pens and pencils. I think that's the desk down there. This is definitely a kid's room. We're back in 1997 as well. Uh, that's a desk item. That's a diary. Definitely put that under there. <laughs> That's a very kid thing to do. Uh, book. Picture on the wall. Looks like a, our hand drawn picture there. She can we put that on. Bookcase. Uh, piggy bank. We have another. Is that a photo album? Ooh, what Sam says. That's if you're young. That is a one of the, an old game. I think it was old when I was first. Well, when I was a kid, it was still old. It's kind of like a, a memory game where the buttons they used to light up in a certain order. And you had used it used to give you a pattern, and then you used to have to remember the pattern and input it straight afterwards. It's actually quite tricky. Uh. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Is that a dreidel? Is that like a spinning top thing? Alright. Ooh, classic Rubik's Cube. Thank you. Put that up there for now. Uh, that'll go under the desk because that's where it's supposed to go. We have a checkers board. Put that down there for now. 
probably not going to stay there. <laughs> I like the procedure. That's definitely, that's operation that. That has to be operation. Ooh, okay, so box one done. Put that there. What else have we got this one? Can you open it? Okay, so we've got sliding drawers as well to deal with. Just put them in there. Put them in the cupboard. Uh, we have another book for the bookcase. Put that on there. Uh, scissors can go on there for now. Stationery on the desk. Oh, we've got a dragon. A dragon plushie. That has to go on the bed, that one. Uh, oh, poster. Wondering what that was there. Put it up there. Uh, right there. That has to go on the wall. Is that a Dracula book? Vampire? Small book, put it on there. Uh, space book. I don't even know what that thing is. Try and judge what it is. Uh, oh, Game Boy. Not go up there for now. We have another plushie. That's definitely bed bound. Pirate book. Tall book, you can go on there. Oh, camera. Uh, is that another thing? Oh, what's that? Oh, you can take photos now. Cool. I don't know why I'd want to take photos, but at least we can do it. We can do it at least. <laughs> uh, flashlight. Get the feeling that needs to be. I'll put it down there for now. I'm going to sort everything out after we get unpack everything. A double decker bus. We've been to London. That's a very UK kind of thing, that, the double red double-decker buses. And we've got skipping ropes. Is that box empty? Indeed it is. On to the last one. Uh, got a book about bears. That's a small book. Can we get that in there? Oh, we can't. Ooh, another plushie. He goes on the bed, for sure. A uh, pony figure. You can tell a lot about the the person when the thing in the pack and unpacking stuff. This tells me this is a a girl. I'm gonna say a teenage girl. Well, maybe young teen. By obviously the color scheme, but the plushies. We've got the posters. She was an avid reader. She was good at school. I would say she's very creative. She has a creative side, with the camera and the stationery supplies. She was obviously definitely good at soccer or football. If you, I uh, football. If you're UK blind, soccer. If you're not, I'm not sure whether that's a, just a regular spinning top or whether that's something to do with because it looks like it's got runes on it or numbers two and a three so I don't know whether that's a Dungeons and Dragons thing or whether I'm completely barking up the wrong tree uh, she's into action figures we've got a hero we've got a bad guy I'm going to say a bad guy just because ooh, we've got another horse uh, oh lord I remember these Remember the trolls? They were old. They're, these are old. Some of these are things you probably not even know. Uh, another action figure. I mean, obviously we're going to run out of space on here. I think we're going to need to get some of these on to the unit down here. Oh god, I remember that as well. Do you know what that is? That's a Tamagotchi. They were all the rage back in... Uh, when I was a kid. 
Oh, there we go, our mascot. Seems to be the mascot for the game, Mr. Pig. Uh, were you down there for now until we get the box open? Of a boom box. Uh, we've got cassettes. Another book for the bookcase. Sounds really weird. I need to sort these out. <laughs> Large books, medium books, small books. Alright, so are you... Can't get you in there. You're going to have to go in there. Put you up for that one. It's definitely an avid reader. Right, so that's everything unpacked. And what this tells you... These items are in the wrong place. These grown ones, these are in the wrong spot. So I'm going to say put that... In there. Cassettes can go. We're going to put the cassettes in there. We've got this drawer here, so we're going to put these. Should I know where to put, the, put them down there for now? It was kind of like Tetris. In a way as well, you've got to fit everything in nice and neatly. Now, can I get all of these? So, I can't get the rubber in. Alright, so if I take that out, sorry. Take that out, put that in there. That can go in there. Time I got you in the drawer. Put the pens in there because I'm left handed. Let's move him. I should not let's leave him up here. So we can have our electronics in here. Put that in there. Let's put that. That just screams that's where I'll put my bag. So I can reach it from the desk. And it's also out of the way. Tell you what, can we put that in here? That can go in there. Sounds strange, I'm gonna put that there because if I was getting out of bed in the middle of the night to go to the toilet I needed it was dark. Flashlight right next to the Thing. Um, put that in there. Right, so where else do we need to think? Should we put the... It's just so proud of it that she wants to... That there, and then we can put that in there. Let's put them it's gonna sound really strange. I have a compulsion to do it. Do something like this. Uh, let's put her there. Put 
that there, then he can go up there, move that onto there. That can go in there, and then that can go on there. I can go there. Sorry. <laughs> Picture in the bottom right hand side. Hold on. I'm I'm gonna nitpick here. I really am gonna nitpick here. Put the books there. Put him there. Close the drawer. There we go. Job done. Job done. And that, my guys, is basically it. We're going to be on to the next level in a second. Finally, my own room. This is the first room like moved into a new house. Probably the first new house that she's moved in in May 1997. So where we're we going next? Ooh, time jump. Time jump to 2004. Are we at university or are we at school? Got be university. University dorm. Ooh, we've got another room as well. We've got a bathroom as well. And a kitchen. So this is definitely university. Definitely university. Right. God, Lord, I remember these. Good old CRT monitors. Dang. They were big. They were heavy. They were very cumbersome. <laughs> right, let's start with this box. What have we got? Um, pens. Hold on. Feels weird to put them right back. Let's put that diet there next to the chest that there uh oh got a scuff in the carpet already oh see that hear that i think they went all out that's dvd this is what the dvd sounds like when you put it on a table <laughs> that's very cool uh so what film is that is that a Matrix? that come about right? That would be about right. Can I move the box? Hold on. Ghost Girl. Try and think of films that uh, were out about this time. I think it might need to actually move them down to the lower one for now. Ooh. An old computer mouse. Left-handed, so it goes on the left. Ooh, mouse pad. Now, these weren't... Now, I'll give, give it a pass here because mice were not wireless back in 2007. Or were they? Were we 2007? Uh, oh, not resume. It said we were 2007, didn't it? Oops, we've got a cupboard. All right. Uh, put that up there. Uh, 2004, 2005 diary. You can go up there. You're not an actual diary, I don't think. I think you're just a notepad. Um, actually. Got on moving the DVDs, aren't I? You go in there. Shows you what's more important. <laughs> right. Um, box frame. There's got to be there. Yep. Has to go. Ooh, Christ. These were big and heavy as well. Floppy disk drive. And a CD drive. That was actually an expensive computer back then. Floppy disks and a freaking CD drive. The only place for that is to go underneath the underneath the desk. I mean, I could probably 
could put it up on top of the desk, but I think that would that you never wanted your computer on top of your desk next to your screen. It'd be kind of cool if we could actually could have put it in there. No. <laughs> right, next box. Uh, are you hanging on the wall picture? Ooh, definitely, we'll have, a, we'll have a stain on the wall there. Let's put, just put that on there. Oh. No, we don't want them on top of that box. Put them there for now. Oh, did you want to put them on the top shelf? Because we don't really need to stick with them. Oh, toothbrush. Uh, bathroom. Put that there for now. Ooh, toothpaste. Uh, ooh. I'll have one of them. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Strike a pause. Oh, do you just unlock the dab? Yeah, put that there. I think he should go up there. I'm going to move that ruler at some point as well. Is it going to tell her? No. She can put that there. Yeah, it's got toothpaste. Uh, get a blaster. On there. Uh, jeans. Straight in there. Put that hanger up there for now. Starting to get close. We have a left shoe. We have a CD draw, CD thing. Okay, I'm going to move that there. That's CDs for the CD player. If I've got more DVDs, then we might have to move that. We have a left shoe. shoes in there. Sorry, it sounds really strange. <laughs> I feel compelled. They need to go. They need to go that way. So you can grab them from behind and put them on. It's force to have it. It's just me being me. Uh, right. Is that a bright... For a start, one, nice boot. Two, who the hell packs two boots, like a pair of boots, in separate boxes? That's just not done. It's not the done thing. Okay, uh, we have a bra. Just nestle them in. You go in the drawer. Uh, we have a poster. We've got a hole in there. Let's use that to cover the hole. And a jointy angle as well. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Game Boy made it. Put that there for now. And we have another plushie up here. Mr. Cat. Miss Cat, you can sit next to Mr. Pig. Oh lord, I remember that film. Good old Donnie Darko. Alright, so we're going to have to move that somewhere else. There we have a rubber. That can go up there. That's a file and fax cabinet thing. That's for important documents that you want to keep. So they can go in the cupboard. We have socks. They can go in there, in that next drawer. And another one, and another one. Just because it bugs me. Really? All right, unless they're a different item. Oh, we have a toaster, kitchen. You can go there. Sort the bedroom out first. Ooh, actually, are these 
pants. Okay, these are underwear, and those are socks. Socks can go down that way. Socks on the left hand side. Uh, Rubik's Cube can go up there. Have more underwear. Underwear. Do you want to fold the t shirts or hang them up? Fold them. Monkey! Monkey! You can go up there. And uh, more socks. You can go in there. Yep, another pair of socks. We've got enough room for another three items in there. Remove the toothpaste. What have we got in here? I have a book bag. You can slide in there. Uh, iPod. Do I remember the iPods or no? Oh, well that one needs to. Oh, we've got a shirt. An actual dress plaid shirt, an actual shirt you have to hang up. You can't fold an actual proper shirt. Or at least you shouldn't. Uh, t shirt, you can go on there. Another pair of jeans. Can I pick up that? Oh, can. All right. Move you all the way along. I'm glad you can pick up the whole stack. Uh, Mr. Piggy Bank. Probably not good on there, really, but we're going to move it in a second. T shirt. Fold you up. Oh, this toy made it. She made it. Cool. Another pair of jeans. The football made it as well. Put that in there for now. I uh, have a ring binder, which seems important. I can go up on the shelf. That t shirt can be folded. Nice. All right. Uh, Jack, oh, sorry, hoodie. Definitely hang your hoodie up. Alarm clock can go on there. I'll ask it on the cats at the time. Oh, I can. Wait. Clock. Have we got a clock? Nine. Clock in the microwave, 9.23. There we go. Nine twenty-three. <laughs> you gotta do these things. These things are gotta have any uh, right. Hold that shirt. Start a new pile. Blouse because it's got a frilly edge thing. That's gonna be best off being hung rather than being. These are windowsill items, these. I might move the piggy bank though. To there. Ooh. Okay, so before she moved college, she went to Paris, because of the Eiffel Tower. All right. And uh, that is a... That's pajamas, if any, if ever there was one. If there ever there was any. That needs to go separate. I put that on there. Sounds strange. You can go there. You can go there. Pajamas. Pajamas set. And uh, that's another pajama top. Another pajama bottoms. Clothes, dress clothes, pajamas, hangy stuff. More underwear. More socks. And more underwear. You see, that's the last of it. Ooh, toilet roll. And so that drawer's done. We need to find another boot. We're missing another boot as well. 
Uh, I might put that under there. And that can go there, and then that can go next to the other DVDs. We're going to move that along, so we'll have more DVDs to use. And another book. Photo album. Another t-shirt. Another pair of pants. Nice, that's that box done. Right, so let's put the iPad, not the iPad, the iPod and the Game Boy in there. Priorities and all that for when you're lying in bed. <laughs> uh, let's move that and left a little bit. That'll be all right on the other side. It'll be all right up there. Right, so we've got one more box in here. Toilet roll. Straight in the bathroom. And that needs to go in the bathroom as well, actually, while we're here. Right. Last box in the bedroom. Another poster. Put that one up there because I like that triangle kind of shape. Too much chill, man. Too much chill. Small box on the left. I feel the need to do small to large. <laughs> Another large one. That one can go there because it's large, large, large. And then slowly it's getting slower. Uh, right, so we have colored pencils. So she's definitely into art. What book's that? That's an art book, that one. Uh, right, let's put that over there. And what's that? Possibly human form, drama. No, we can't have that. There we go. So that's that box done. Right. So I can't put that in there. Pens up there. Let's balance these out just a touch. Nice, evenly spaced. I'm going way too. I'm going way too much into. I'm getting way too much into this. Right. Football down by the sockets, possibly. CDs up there, so she can lift that up on top to get access to them. We need to sort that boot out eventually as well. We need to get some stuff. We can get some stuff up here as well. Should we put them actually. See that to me, that's like long-term storage. Hmm. All right. Never mind. We could put something down there instead. All right. Sorry, getting distracted. Should we do the kitchen? Let's do the kitchen next. Let's do the kitchen next. Alright, so we've got cupboards and drawers. So, top box. We have a cup. Put that up there. Now, this is a sneaky one because that's not a. That is not. Mm -hmm. That's not a kitchen one. That goes in the bathroom. That is your. Receptacle because you have these in there that holds your toothpaste and your toothbrush, and that's you can use that to gargle with. Rinse your mouth out, okay? No handle, 
throws you off there. Ooh, we've got a little mini cup. That's an espresso cup. Put them on the sugar. You can go there. Cookie jar. See, Mamo was used to put the cookie jar right on the very top. So yeah, if you want a cookie, you have to go climbing for it. Increases your chance of being caught when you're not supposed to have cookies. But in my house, it's down on the bench next to the hooker. <laughs> I just realized what it said. The cooker, cooker, not hooker. <laughs> Sorry. That, that caught us off guard, that one. <laughs> Uh, plate. Oh, actually, cups in here. That bowl. Two plates, two bowls. You can go up there. Tea towel on there. Oh, okay. Put that down. Cutlery jaw. I knew I had to have one. Forks. Knives. Teaspoons. In the front. Spare tea towel. Another drawer, hand soap on the sink. I don't know what that is. Possibly a cleaner under the. I've got the cleaners. Ooh. You can go up there. That's a sandwich. That's a panini maker sandwich toaster. Chopping board definitely on the bench. Uh, pan. Well, that's a little bit annoying. You can't put it on the hob, probably. Uh, you're going to go in the cupboard under the stairs. I'm coming under the stairs. Cupboard under the thing. Oil. I don't even know what that is. What is that? I generally don't know what that is. Uh, sponges. Oops, spatula. Definitely you go in there. Another box down, but you can go in here as well. That can go in there because I think that's a cleaner. Cleaners always go under the sink. Hold on. I see you're not going under there. I'm very dubious about putting Pots and pans that you're going to be eating out of, and the same one as cupboard, the same one as. And the same cupboard, I should say, as uh, cleaning stuff. Hold on. Right, so if we put. Get the bottom stack. I'm way too like in all about this. Got some plates there. Well, no. Uh, 
you'll see the me in OCD here. Pots and pans can go. You could you could totally fit that in there. Come on. Oh where? You could totally fit that in there. Oil can go up there anyway. No idea what that actually is. Put it in there for now, just to be safe. <laughs> what else we got? Oh yeah, yeah, keyboard. Uh, we need that for that. Now we need to move that along. That along there. Right. Uh, another plate. Another ball. I was wondering if I only had two. Hmm. All right. <laughs> oh, big knife. Blade always facing in. Can I just hang? I have no hanging space. Could totally get that in there. Right. Knife needs to be in a drawer, safe, out of the way. Let's put the spatula. In here, let's move that. In there. Uh, big spoon. Tin opener. Oh, actually, that's in the middle of being used. You can go there. Kettle. I have to move that out of the way. Oh, me other boot. You're in the bedroom, so you are. Yeah. All right. Hold on. You need to move because you need to go in here. Now oh, you can't go in there, right? Uh, so you can go up in the top. And you can go up there, right? No, no, we don't want the bathroom. We're doing the kitchen. We're doing the kitchen now. Uh. I don't know what that is. What's that? Ah, you can go in there. Is that a bottle opener? Jar opener? You have another cup. You have another glass. You have another plate, which is a different size. I'll still put it on top of the other plate, though. That'll be a saucer. More saucers. Salt, coffee, kitchen roll on the top. It's not where I'll put it. Big spoons. Right, so that's the last of that one. Right, so we need to work out where we're going to put the glasses. So you're all right. Let's put the cups in here. Right. 
oil can go down here so it's less contaminated or con contaminable even that, if that's even a word I don't think that's a word uh, so sources can go on there plates and bowls in here sandwich toaster kettle cook a jar on the top but sometimes food a sometimes food or right. achievement uh, Green crumbs, leave that pot down all the time. That can't go there, right. Well, sugar and coffee go on the bench right there. Salt can go in there. Gonna get the oil in there. Hold on. Going way too deep into this. We're gonna use salt more than we are oil. <laughs> That's at the back. Right, so we've got some space in the cupboard. Chopping board on there. Occasional use. Actually, if we put that up there, then we can put the chopping board there. See, I would have that. That's kitchen roll. I have that on the bench. rather than upper height. Actually, I can put that in there. That'll do, that'll do. Right, last room. Bathroom. One box left to go. Right, oh god. Uh, bath towel. On there. Soap. Don't need soap. No soap tray for that. That's for possibly gargling, uh, deodorant. Perfume, hairbrush. Is that a medicine cabinet? No, all right. Shower gel, easy accessible. First aid kit. Would I have the first aid kit in the kitchen? We, what are Oh, you know what, that's cool. The thought of everything, sorry, that was really cool. That was really damn cool. You can't open that door because there's something in the way. Uh, first aid kit in the kitchen, because you're more likely to use, need a first aid kit, you're going to injure yourself in the kitchen, surely, aren't you? Not that you should be injuring yourself anyway, but you're more likely to, I would imagine. Uh, put that up there. Oh, we have a rogue bra. Bedroom. What else we got? Uh, yeah, you can go at the back because you're an occasional use item. Shampoo and conditioner. Let's rotate that. 
shampoo, conditioner, another toilet roll. See, I'll put them down there. I don't know whether that's going to be correct. Uh, let's hang that. It's a large towel. Put you in there as well. Move that. Put you up there. You in there. Hairbrush. Did that go in the bath? Did you brush your hair while you were in the bath? You can duck in there. Oh, yeah, in a frying pan. All right, you don't go in here. You don't belong in here. Can I hang that frying pan? I mean, it's got a hook on it ready to hang, so why wouldn't I hang it up there? Right. Let's just pack that box up and see what we got wrong. Perfume's in the wrong spot. Wait. Did I really... Oh my lord. Okay. That I was not expecting. Put that on the other side as well. And put one on there. I was not expecting that at all. I got everything in the right spot apart from one item, the perfume. Is that really true? Did that, did that really happen? It did, you know. Dang! That was very good, that one. I'd like that one. Castle Start Monday. Uni, here I come. University... Where we are now. Where are we going next? I jumped to 2007. Oh, so we've moved into somewhere else. We've moved in with someone because this is already partly furnished. So we've moved into someone. Two other people. We've got two roommates. All right. Cool. I like that. I like that. However, we are going to leave that here for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed this little chill session. We've been playing for about an hour. There's... I don't know how many levels there are. There's, I think there's quite a few. I think there might be eight levels. Eight levels rings a bell. I might be wrong though. You slowly get more and more rooms as you progress. So we are going to leave that at this stage right now. 2007. We've left... She's left college or university and moved in with someone else at least two other people because there's two other bedrooms other than yours so we're going to possibly have a look at this at a later date if you have enjoyed this chill video do let me know in the comment section below and i will play more i have no problem playing this for the whole game should you want it turned into a series something nice and relaxing and you can channel it in it or CD because, you know, I was very picky about where I put, was putting stuff. <laughs> way too much thought in it. Way too much thought. But like I said, you, you do get a good indication of a person based on what they bring with them and with to a new house. What they choose to leave behind and what they choose to bring with them is very telling of a person. So hopefully you have enjoyed it. Sorry, hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, let me know and I shall do more if you like it. If you're new here, feel free to come check out some more stuff we've got going on. Would love to have you here. If you're not new here, again, welcome back. Thank you for all the support. Much appreciated. And you all know what's coming. 
Please like, share, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And as always, just see you on the flip side. Bye bye.